Hey there, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to generate PDF files in Laravel application. And what I'm going to use is a wrapper for DOM PDF. So I'm going to install it by running the command composer require bari vdh and then forward slash laravel hyphen dom pdf i'm going to hit enter this command will install the package for us and of course this is a fresh installation of laravel 10 i'll give it some time for it to install and then i will resume after it's installed our package is fully installed i want us to open routesweb.php it is where i would like us to generate our pdf from and obviously it's not the best place to have it of course you can be able to use a controller but i would like to just import the facade barry vdh uh, dom dom pdf and then facade and then pdf like that so that is a uh, the facade that I will, I will import and I want us to just create another route I want it to be a get route and inside here I want us to have the URL PDF so when you visit the URL PDF it will be able to take us here I want us to have function and be able to have our code here of course you can be able to transfer whatever it is that you have here into your controller and it will still be perfect and what I want us to do I want us to get the users and then be able to show them in our um, in a file in a blade file as pdf and then you'll be able to download it so i'm going to have a variable called data and this one i'm going to have it as an array of values and this is where we can be able to pass our values and what i want us to pass is um users because the users model is already in existence we can be able to just uh, create fake users and then use those ones. So in this case users Want it to be plural and then we can say user all like that After that I want us to then load view. So in this case we can have PDF uh, PDF Is equals to PDF the facade that we have just imported above load view then we can pass the name of the blade file that you'll be loading our in this case our pdf so let me just call it users users pdf like that and then of course we can be able to pass in the data so that is how we will have it then now we can be able to return pdf and then we will chain download and then we can be able to just put the name of our file now so in this case it's going to be called users maybe users hyphen pdf dot pdf the type of the file so that is what we're going to have in this route of ours and of course if you want to do a little bit more setting on your dom pdf you can be able to publish the config let me just show you where you can be able to get the documentation. So in this case, you can uh, just search for DOM uh, PDF Laravel, just like that. And this first is uh, the documentation of uh, the Barry VDH wrapper for DOM PDF. So this is the one that I'm actually uh, using to do the installation. So this is the installation. And then, of course, the usage as we are having it here several ways in which you can be able to use it of course you can also be able to chain and save it somewhere such that you can be able to access it later but for the example that i'm working on is an example whereby we are able to download directly and of course issues of setting whether it's landscape or portrait you can be able also to pass inside set paper or you can be able to set this inside the configuration file so basically that is um what i need to mention about that and so i need to go to web.php i mean to resources 
views and I want us to create a file called userspdf.blade.php so that's what I'm going to do here so new file and I'm going to call it uh, users hyphen pdf dot blade dot php like that and inside here I just want us to have HTML5 code and of course since we will be loading users from the database I would like us to just have a table maybe h1 and under this h1 we just have a um, list of users like that then I want us to have a table a table like that and inside here this table of ours has a table head and inside the table head we have table that table um, headers those ones and here maybe we can have the maybe the number or the ID or whatever it is so we can be able to just put our records in some specific order and then in our users table we just have the name and email in the default users table like that so you have the number and then the name then the email and then after that then we can have the table body and inside here we are going to have table row and inside the table row we are going to have the table data so again three uh, columns in this case i'm just going to copy this and paste three times so here i'm going to we are going to loop and get all the users so here i'm going to have a for each loop for each uh, users as user like that and then we can be able to end the loop at end for each that way and here i want us to have the user name so here we have maybe loop index and i can have loop index plus one we just want to number the users from one up until where they will reach so then here we are going to have the user name so i have user and then name after that this last one we can have the email of the user so i'm going to have user email i'm going to save this obviously currently if we are to refresh there are no users in our in our database so we will have issues and i would like us to just go ahead and work on that but before we do that i want us to work on welcome.blade even this one i can remove all this and just simplify using html5 just have a simple button inside the body and we want it to have or we can have it as an anchor tag like that maybe we will turn it into a button we can have href and i'm going to just visit the route pdf as we have created and here we can have um download download users list or something and then of course maybe uh, we can leave it like that so it will be a tag the way we are having it after that i want us to go and uh, generate some fake users so i'm going to go to migration cedars the database cedar and i'm going to com and comment this first line that we have here after that um, i want us to just change the name of our migration i mean our database and here I'm going to just change the name of the database and I'm going to call it instead of Laravel, I'm going to call it DOM PDF like that. So after that, we need to do our migrations. I've connected my application through by loading PHP and my, I mean Apache and MySQL so we can be able to run migration. So PHP artisan migrate. We have not been able to create the database so uh, this command you create it for us so i'm going to click yes because it asks if i would like to create it and then it is created and then i'm also going to run php artisan db seed 
to seed 10 users in our database. So now we have 10 users in the database. And of course, I need to go back to our um, web.php and include the user model. So above here, I'm going to have use app models user. And I think that is everything. I want us to load the our application and see if everything works well. So localhost 8000. So we have this link that says we download users. So I want us to click on it and see if it works. And you can see we have a download already, users.pdf. Users and when we open it, as you can see, we have a list of users their names, their emails, and, and, and so on and so forth. It's not displaying nicely. I want to check whatever it is that we have here, such that we see if we can be able to improve. So I'm going to open users.plate. Here we are having three values, and above here we are having how many values? Also for the table head, we are having three values. Yes, because the problem is because I have been able to put our for each loop inside the table row. So I need to just put it somewhere outside like that. So if I do that, it will be able to display everything perfectly. So let me just put it there and paste and save. That was the reason why it, it looked a little bit jumbled up. So I want us to refresh and attempt to download again. And now it's downloading. So if we go and check the second file, now you can see our, our users are being arranged perfectly. And we can be able to uh, make the table stripe such that we can be able to do a, a bit of separation and style it. So if you want to do a little bit of styling, you can be able to pull in bootstrap or maybe pull in um, Tailwind CSS and be able to modify whatever it is that you have in this list to be able to look a little bit nicer in accordance to the way you would wish it looks. This is the end of the tutorial episode. Subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can also share the video. And if you have a question, you can share below in the comments. Thank you.